Guitar Kits USA. We make the Resoglass Guitar Kits. We wanted to make a guitar kit that accepted as many parts as possible, and uh, we stumbled upon the Resoglass idea about five years ago. Um, the thing that's unique to these guitars is they'll accept a, a wide variety of, of pickups because all the pickups are surface mounted on top of the guitar and there's no need to uh, route the bodies at all. So um, the various models that we have here um, all have different uh, pickups and, and necks um, that you can just sort of slap on these guitars and, and put them together. Eight or nine years ago I uh, secured the uh, domain Arezzo Glass and later the, the trademark for that and um, luckily just dumb luck uh, Jack White started uh, uh, rising to fame shortly thereafter and um, I, I always had a love for these guitars. I uh, lived in Chicago for almost 10 years and they were, were originally produced here uh, by the Valco company uh, which made uh, Airline, National and uh, some other brands uh, as well, Supro. And uh, each one of those lines had uh, the fiberglass, uh, Rezzo glass guitars. They were made from uh, 1962 to 1967. And so um, there really isn't much in the guitar world that hasn't been reissued and uh, um, nobody had been doing this, a true fiberglass uh, guitar. So uh, it took about a half dozen years to uh, get all the parts sourced and uh, uh, we've been offering them for uh, about a year now. Uh, we have uh, one body style with, uh, that accepts two different size necks. Um, you can see the uh, original ones had a, a trapezoid shaped uh, neck pocket which um, basically wouldn't fit any uh, guitar necks that are currently manufactured today. Um, so we, we do offer that um, because some of the narrower necks that are, are just over two inches wide uh, can be very easily uh, sized down to, to fit in that type of neck pocket. But the neat thing that we've done is we've also made a uh, 2 and 3 16 inch wide neck uh, that will accept a, a standard, uh, say, Telecaster style neck, if you will. So uh, most people that I know that play guitars have uh, lots of various parts laying around in their garage or basement, and these bodies are a, a great way to put them together in a project and, and uh, end up with something that's basically gig worthy at the end of the day. The action of, of these guitars, everyone automatically assumes that they're you know, way off the, the neck of the guitar. And you can see that, um, that, that really the, the height here um, is, is pretty much a, a standard relationship that you would find on any uh, Telecaster. The way that they're different is um, the pickup, since they're on top of the, of the body, um, that's where you have the, the height dip, the difference. Um, but uh, it's you can set them up uh, just to play slide. They're they're great for that. Um, you know, a lot of players like uh, the old blues great uh, J. B. Hutto uh, exclusive, exclusively use the uh, uh, airline guitars uh, towards the end of his career, and and uh, you know he was a, a great slide player. So lots of people have used them for that. Um, the neat thing is with using a floating bridge. Um, if you wanted to put a baritone on these. Um, bodies you could, you could then, uh, using the, the floating bridge, move it up or back to, to achieve the correct intonation. So um, that's a, a other thing that's, that's really neat about this. A standard guitar kit um, that you would buy today is basically, you're either going to build a Strat or a Les Paul, and you really can't tinker with it that much because the, um, the bridge is set where it has to uh, be positioned without doing some major reworking to that guitar. Whereas this is really a blank slate. You can uh, put the electronics wherever you want, the controls wherever you want, and um, sort of create your own unique guitar. You know, we've got lots of examples that people have uh, uh, emailed to us of finished guitars where, you know, they have gone crazy with the, the knobs, but a lot of people that um, play the vintage uh, Supros and Airlines, one of their complaint is, um, a lot of people don't like having the, the knobs located uh, above the pickups because if they're really uh, you know playing a heavy rhythm or something like that, they tend to get in the way. And so, a lot of these examples that you'll see here today, you know, we we position the the knobs in a more uh, traditional location. Mm -hmm.